Hey everybody, it's Lawrence, and um, I am driving on my way to the level one training, which I'm going to be teaching for a week. I'm super excited about that. Um, I wanted to talk to you today about being your sexual self, like your authentically expressed sexual self, and why that's so important. Because by, by not being yourself, you're doing a disservice to both you and your partner, and fundamentally you're saying about yourself that there's something wrong with you. So I was speaking with a student and I could just tell like how troubled and you know just how difficult it was for him and I was really curious like I'm I'm like saying you know hey it looks like you're feeling guilty and ashamed about who you are fundamentally and so you're trying to change that so he was using a lot of like David Data speak and um, you know asking me like uh, what do you think about David Data and you know a lot about the masculine and feminine and you know those of you that know me you know that I really don't teach from those paradigms because in reality that's not my experience um, for me it's a longer story and I'll do a video on that but you know for me it's the bottom line is is that there is a spectrum of what I will call sort of a sexual energetic and that's that like it's it's not this or that and that whole mythology that you know there's a masculine polarity and a feminine polarity I mean honestly it's bullshit and so you know he's trying to struggle with this like I'm a man you know I should be masculine and my woman should be this and it's just all this stuff which is what I call mind fuckery. Mind fuckery. Where you just get so like in your head about stuff. Am I this? Am I that? Is she this? Is she that? And and then, you know, and he, his question to me was a simple question which was, he was like, why are relationships so hard? And, you know, I, I was like, wow, what, what kind of... That's like a wild question because... I, that's not my experience. Like, I don't experience relationships as hard. I don't experience them as hard work. You know, that has everything to do with what you believe about the purpose of relationship. So if you believe, like, you know, hey, my relationship is to make me a better human and to evolve my soul and blah, 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 well, good for you as long as it's working for you. But for this guy, that wasn't working, right? Because he would be with, with women specifically, but with partners who were just like, you know, this is wrong with you and that's wrong with you and you're not this and you're not that. And it's like, no, like wh how, how can you open up and be vulnerable if somebody's essentially punching you in the face or the heart? Hey, be open, be open. How come you're not open? You know, this, this just doesn't, it, it fundamentally doesn't make any sense. And so this, when you break the world into these masculine feminine polarities, that's what you're doing in essence. You're saying, oh, you know, men are this and they need to be this. And, and you're just, you know, you're basically creating 1950s mythology around what it is to be a man or what it is to be a woman. And these are just other stereotypes and boxes. Maybe they're a little more new agey. You know, so they're a little more, you know, woo-woo or, or they're canonized, which is even worse because, you know, some guy, David Data, he grows in popularity and everybody's like, oh, David Data, David Data, you know, and all he's doing is codifying essentially 1950s nonsense and saying women are this and men are that. And, uh, and, and what do you, you know, what do you do with that? Like, you're just stuck in another box. Maybe it's a little more cozy or, you know, your woman is helping you evolve and she needs this, she needs that, and he needs this, he needs that. It's bullshit. Truly bullshit. And 
That's why relationships are such hard work because if your framework is that your partner is there to evolve your soul, well, look, this is more of the punishment pain pain and suffering paradigm. In the things that I teach, this would be bucket two, bucket two, the struggle of this over that, which is just what polarity is, masculine, feminine, you know, and that, and that through pain and suffering, good things are supposed to happen. You know, lots of pain, lots of suffering. And then you evolve and you become a better man or a better woman. Well, of course, relationships are going to be hard work because that's how you're framing it. And so it's hard. Everything is hard. You know, you open, you're vulnerable, you're not present, you're not present enough. Woo! Wow. So my advice to him, and he didn't like it because probably like some of you won't like what I'm saying. He didn't like it because he was like, wait, this doesn't fit what I believe. And I'm like, well, you didn't ask me the question so that I would agree with the bullshit that you believe. You asked me the question because you want some help breaking through that framework. That's why you asked the question. He's like, huh, that's a good point. So. Relationships are hard work if you frame them as hard work. If you make your relationship about pain and suffering and hard work, that's what you're gonna have because that's how you treat each other. I don't wanna evolve my partner. I don't wanna help her. I would love to, to like create a safe space for her to learn, but nobody learns when their cortisol is being Stimulated, and when I'm when I'm causing a flight or fight response from you, and when I'm smashing you in the head with a belief, or you need to be this, or women need to be that, or men need to be that, you're creating cortisol. Cortisol is not a good way to learn. It's a good way to create trauma, and it's a good way to create a lot of stress. But there are other ways to learn. Yes, there are other ways to learn. And this may have been one of the biggest paradigm shifts for me, was realizing I can learn, not only can I learn, I can integrate through pleasure, through feeling good, through sharing love, depth, intimacy, connection. That in these connections, when I'm open and vulnerable, when I can be complicated, when I don't have to be strong and masculine all the time, when I can actually be in my vulnerability, which isn't fucking feminine, it's just vulnerability like this nonsense of women are this and men are that I am so tired of it ask me how I really feel it is and I'm tired of it because it's bullshit it is not at all how I operate in my life and I don't use these frameworks so the drama that people have over this you know men are this and women are that and I'm supposed to be like this is like there's a whole universe out there that has nothing to do with that. And just because you believe that's how the world is doesn't mean that is how the world is. Many people used to believe the earth was flat. And they believed it was flat and they operated as if it was flat, but it didn't make it flat. It was always what it was, which was kind of round. So. Why are relationships hard work? They're hard work because our frames and beliefs make them really hard work. So if that isn't what you want, then it's time to change the framework. And instead of focusing on the differences between men and women, we need to focus on the similarities of what it is to be a human being. There are subtleties, so many of them have to do with culture that make us quote unquote different, but fundamentally we are little mammals that like to have sex and really ultimately want to feel connected and have love. That is our lineage. This is where we come from. Connection, social, socializing. But we make up these stories, these crazy stories that have nothing to do with anything. 
and then we believe them, which is even more intense. And you can read about that in my book, by the way, A Course in Freedom. I talk about this. We make up stories, and then we like turn around, you know, like play spin the, you know, pin the tail on the donkey. It was like we make up the story, and then we put it out in the world, and then we blindfold ourselves, and then we spin ourselves around, and then boom. Suddenly there's this monster out there that we created that we forget we created. <laughs> That's why you gotta choose your myths and stories very carefully. So, if your relationships are hard work, it's time to change your frameworks. I treat my partners with respect and care and the concern of a heart the concern of a human being who has feelings and sensations and needs and wants and desires, which is the same thing that I have. So that's all I got for you today. Please feel free to share this video. If it pissed you off, I'm sorry, but I gotta tell it how it is. I am coming out of the closet this year. I've had enough of pretending and putting up with these stories that are such bullshit. It's like, no, there are other ways to live that are beautiful and deep and powerful and empowering. So share this video. If you want to share it, subscribe to my channel. Go visit lawrencelanoff.com. I have a free gift there. I've got all kinds of cool things nice blogs, things to think about, and uh, that's all I got for you today. So from Israel, this is Lawrence signing off, and I will see you in the next video. Have a beautiful time wherever you are, and remember, the opposite of pleasure is more pleasure. See you soon.